was a vision softly creeping Left it seems while I was sleeping And the vision that was planted in my brain Still In restless dreams I walked alone Narrow streets of cobblestone Neath the halo of a stream lamp I turned my color to the cold and damp When my eyes were stained Flash of a neon light that split the night and touch the sound of silence. And in the naked light, I saw ten thousand people, maybe more, people talking. Okay, you got me. I got totally and completely lost. Uh, it's going to be a while before I figure my way around this map. But we made it. This is home. doing pigs. Lots of them. Welcome to Orchard Farm, people. We've taken over just the pig operation of Orchard Farm. It came up for sale a couple of weeks ago, and a couple of other farmers picked up the pieces and uh, bought out the dairy operation and brought out the, um, the sheep operation. 
And uh, I think Rainbow Dave is doing cows. I think that uh, partnership with Virtual Farmer. Virtual Farmer, I think, is doing the um, the sheep. Landy Kid's taking over the agricultural side. The, the, the what do you call it? The... Um, arable land side he's just going to grow some crops which leaves us with pigs which totally suits us we're going to do the big experiment here can you survive with only pigs the only other question is how do you approach it so we only have this we don't even have a house on our own farm where i think we're going to have to rent a room in town i was at the bed and breakfast last night after i landed but, uh, yeah, we're going to need to come up with a plan for where to live. So we moved over here with all of our money from Mountain Valley. We've got 476000 minus 28000 because I bought the Landy back again. So, uh, yeah, we need to get started. It's early morning. So we need to figure out how to acquire the pigs and it's spring so the pigs are at their peak in terms of price. So really we can't afford to have them delivered. We're going to have to go and get them. Then we need to buy in food for them. Pig food makes no sense at all. A dollar, a dollar per pound, it makes absolutely no sense to go with pig food. We're going to buy the individual component from local farmers. I've got a deal worked out with the store. They were going to put us in touch with uh, some people. And we're going to get the, the corn, the wheat, and the canola, and the potatoes all delivered to the store. And we'll have to just truck them in. And I say truck because I think that on this map, though we will be growing our own food eventually, we are going to have to start by trucking in food to maximize our production because the reproduction rates in the spring and the summer are what we're counting on. If we can make back our money before the fall by expanding our herd, we're going to be in good shape. We'll be fine. But I'm not even sure this is going to work, honestly. It's just one of those experiments that I've always wanted to try. So we will see what we can do. So I can see the shop over there. So I think where we go left. Yeah, let's go left. Follow this guy. So yeah, we're going to need ourselves a good utilitarian truck to be able to haul all that stuff back and forth. I may already be lost, by the way. Uh, nope, that's not it. Where are we going? Hmm. Maybe this way. Nice fuel station in town. I might be able to rent an apartment from one of these houses over here. We'll see. But we have... Um, for now, we're just going to stay at the bed and breakfast here on the corner. Nice little place. People have been very nice to me. So we'll just go with that. So let's see here. Alright, let's go this way. I think it's this way. I may be completely wrong. There's a roundabout over here. I'm having to learn how to drive on roundabouts. Always interesting. Over here we have a wood uh, lumber yard and a campground. Worst case scenario, we're just going to get ourselves a camper and throw ourselves in there. But I don't think it's going to come to that. Now, our pig farm is, of course, completely at the other end of the map when compared to where the store is. 
So, yeah, that'll make it interesting. I think we're going in the right direction. I don't even know, seriously? There's the store over there. Oh yeah, we gotta go down this little side road here. Okay, no problem. And down the driveway. Wow, there is no way on this map that I could have walked here. I mean, seriously. It is a heck of a jaunt away. It's not a question of just hopping over the hill and getting to the store, so... Oof. We are going to have to seriously think about how we do our purchasing and move our equipment around. Okay, so, unfortunately this is going to turn into a little bit of a driving simulator for today. Because the first thing we need to do is we need to go and pick up some pigs. Let's go right for the truck section. The in-game trucks, the cheapest one here is 138, which is the Tatra. But there is a Tatra Phoenix mod out there, 6x6, which gives it uh, 360 horsepower. We don't need a lot of horsepower. We're just hauling pigs today. We are going to make it um, brown, I think. No, let's go with a... Oh, let's just make it white. And then we will lease it because we've got a fair amount of money up there, but we don't want to spend it all in one place. Now, we've got to take in 100 pigs. 100 pigs is going to take us a little while. So let's not waste our time with small trailers. Let's get the biggest possible trailer. It's a bit of a trade-off because the roads around here are a little bit narrow, shall we say? But we will manage. Okay. Wow. It is a big trailer. So this guy will handle 38 pigs at a time, which is not bad at all. Okay. And in we go. Good. How is this? Good. Nice. Nice mod. Okay. So let's go here. And it's a little tight here for the spawn point, but that's all right. Okay. We can look out the back window for a little bit. So we get underneath it. And then just click it in. Did we get it? There it is. Good. Latched on. Okay, let me just take a moment here and show you guys the map. This map is quite beautiful, actually. Um, we own the pig yard and the surrounding fields. I moved, uh, I changed some of the, of course, the, the, the selection. Um, I missed this one here. I'm going to be erasing this one for my save game. But we own basically fields 19, 18, 20, and 15. We need to grow potatoes, we need to grow corn, we need to grow some uh, canola, and we need to grow some wheat. And we need the wheat for hay, or sorry, for straw, and we need it also because the pigs will be eating that. So, we are all the way at the end over here. We have to go all the way down this road here, all the way back and over to the cattle there the, the the livestock yard pick up our pigs then come back all the way up here and up to here keep in mind these are super duper narrow roads so it's kind of like a truck sim for a little bit but i think we can do it i'll leave the landy here in the lot we'll have to come back for her because we're going to need a tractor, we're going to need some straw, we're going to need all sorts of things. So we'll be able to use her for that. Now, this is going to be a very interesting little road trip through all these hedges. 
at least with the truck you can see above the hedges so we'll get a chance to explore some of the views at the same time let's see Okay, back the way we came with the Landy. I'm figuring it's going to take me at least two episodes to get myself all set up because we have to do um, three trips with this trailer just to pick up the animals. Then we're going to need to lease another trailer, which will take care of our... Now, you got to be careful with these guys here, because they just turn in right here. And do they turn in right here? Some of them do, some of them don't. Okay. I still haven't figured out the traffic patterns on here, and you all know how they don't care, right? So, when possible, whenever possible, caution. We'll see if we can get through this without killing any of the residents, because that would really ruin our reputation to begin with. We are, of course, playing with seasons, which means that we have to be able to feed our pigs right through until the fall, because we need to plant corn, and corn is one of those things which is late to plant and late to harvest. So this is going to be an absolute massive challenge to try to keep our breeding rates up until we can come up with our own product to feed them. Okay. Let's see here. Nope, other way. Messed that up already. This is going to be a bit of a challenge. Back that up to here. I think we're going to fit underneath that awning, but uh, we can get close enough to be able to pick them up safely. I think I just need to adjust a little bit. It's a big trailer. Ah, wrong way again. Let's go again. It's not easy doing this through the rearview mirrors. No, at the window. Go. Back it up. And over it this way. One more try. One more try. I promise I will get this. It's like anything else, practice makes perfect. Okay, reversing. And. Slow. There we go. Straighten her out. Beautiful. Right there. That should do her. Let's just double check. Yep, that'll do. Good. Pigs. Buying pigs. Fill her up. Look at that. There's $127 gone already. So we're now down to 300000 This is not going to be an easy task for sure. So now we need to cut all the way through town, down those narrow little hedgerow roads, to be able to get to our yard. Then we need to navigate that super duper tight little yard to get them into their enclosure. We'll just keep our speed down in here. Look for traffic coming the other way. Try to anticipate a little bit. There we go. Just right there. Try to 
have to hit the white picket fences. These trees are also super tight to the road, so the whole way to the farm is just going to be a bit of a maze. So I think we can go this way. There we go. Now these roads are fairly clear of traffic. So we can afford to build up a little bit more speed, but at the same time, those trees, the fences, just a million ways that this could go horribly, horribly wrong. So this over here is an open yard. It's uh, sort of for open use. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to use that, but it might be a good place to park our harvester or something like that, if need be. We do have enough room, I think, at the barn to take care of it. In this farm here, they're doing mostly um, sort of, what do you call it, arable farming. So that used to be part of all the same farm, but uh, Landy Kid's taking that one over living in that house. You know these big time farmers. We're just gonna be running a small little tiny operation in the way back of the map. If I get a chance, I'll bring you up also to see where the sheep area is. It's quite beautiful up there too. But not on this map, we're not doing sheep here. Here's our farm over here. We share a driveway with Orchard Dairy. It's a little bit tight in here. Okay, just gotta straighten myself out a little bit here so we can do this properly. And post on that side good perfect good okay Let's just go check to see where we're at. So we have some idea of how we're gonna do this. Open up the gate for them. So we just need to back it up so that uh, we can just unload them right there. And then we need to turn this trailer around inside the yard to be able to get back out again. So let's give it a shot. And this way, good. Okay, and turn. Nope, not that door. We got to go to the other one. A little bit further. Bring it back a little bit. And this is going to take a few tries, of course, because, well, it's a skill, right? So, is that the doorway over there? Yeah. Way more. Nope. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we have to do. Good. And we turn it. Still too tight. One more try.
course, farm sim mirrors are never the best to be able to do this with. But that's what we got. Let's see here. Can we get it over into there now? Good. Yeah. Oh, excellent work. Okay. I just pulled forward a little bit here. Good. Let's see if we can get unload them here. Yep. Unloading. And that's our first batch of pigs. Now, we gotta pull them ahead. Pull it into the other side of the barn now. And of course, on this side, we have the water tanker to worry about. Let's just go out and double check. Yeah, we got to pull it into there. So hang on, we'll just close this door so the pigs we have don't get out. Good, okay. Pull you into there. Nice and tight. Don't hit the water tanker, which is there strictly for decorative and annoyance purposes. Who says map makers aren't trolls? Okay, beautiful. I think we got this. Okay, well, there's going to be a whole lot of driving in the first couple of days of this ep of this show. But um, for now, I think I'm going to leave you guys here. You have yourselves a great morning. I'm going to run three more loads, or two more loads. Get, my, get us to 100 pigs. And then uh, tomorrow, I'll... Uh, well, this afternoon for me, tomorrow for you. I will... Start loading in the food. Thank you so much for joining me. Have yourselves a great, great afternoon.